Hello, grandchildren. As you know, I'm currently going to film school and we just finished filming our first major projects and I wanted to show you guys what it's like to be on a student film set because it's kind of crazy. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you, Kylan. So for this project, our class was split into groups of six people. So each one of us got a turn to direct our own script and then the rest of us got to rotate out crew roles that were needed. Obviously, we're students, so we're still learning about everything, but I was in a really cool group of people and we all worked very hard at all of the jobs that we ended up doing and it was overall just a really great experience making movies with these people. And I learned so much about making movies in just two weeks, which is crazy. I learned that none of us were as ready as we thought we would be to, to direct our own movies. Um, and pre-production is super important and most of us didn't do nearly enough of it, making like shot lists and rehearsing with the actors. I learned that making movies is exhausting because most movies shoot about three pages of script or three minutes of screen time in one 10 hour day. You're, you're working for a very long time to make not very much actual content. So we're working very hard every single day for very long days for two weeks in a row on, on this last project, it, it ends up like just killing you by the end of the two weeks, especially the really early mornings. I learned that directing on the day is really hard to do uh, because your job as director is to get the performance out of your actor and they say that there aren't any bad actors, there's only bad directors and obviously a good actor is going to make your project better. You need to put in the work to get them to give you a good performance. There was this one part in my film where I needed the actress to break and scream and throw a light bulb at the wall, but I wasn't getting the performance out of her that I really wanted to. And I was trying everything to get her to get the energy level that I wanted, and nothing that I was telling her was uh, really changing how she was doing the part. I finally figured out that if I ended up screaming with her slash at her, uh, then she ended up getting the the emotion that I wanted, or at least almost there. I don't know if screaming at your actors breaks some kind of like health and safety code, but I mean, I'm not a good director at all yet, but uh, it, it was close enough and it was in that moment that I was just like, oh, it, it felt good being a director. All of a sudden you get like, just a little taste of like, like this is a, a fun job to do. It's hard, but when you do it right, it's so enjoyable. But yeah, I just learned that that job is incredibly difficult and also one of the most fun jobs that I've ever gotten to do. I also learned that it's super important to back up your data. This is the actual hard drive part of my portable hard drive that I took out to try to see if I could fix it. It's completely broken. Uh, don't know why it happened. Fortunately, I backed up all of my footage onto this computer here, but if I hadn't done that, I would have lost all of my, my, my footage. Before it happened to me, I was just like, Psh, that won't happen to me. It happens to other people. <laughs> Idiots. Anyway, I'm so tired and I've been doing so much stuff since I got to film school a ton. I've been working for other people, trying to help them in any way that I could on their other projects, like editing and color correcting and color grading and uh, visual effects and sound design. Speaking of visual effects, I've just been doing a ton of that since I got to Sydney. Uh, when I first got here, I did this experiment where I wanted to try to turn a regular scene into a scene with a giant blizzard in it. I was also director of photography on this other girl, Emma's project, and I convinced her to let me try to do an experimental shot where this uh, the actress was in front of a mirror and I wanted to walk around her. I was able to erase myself and the camera from the shot and I was kind of proud of that one. I also did this thing from this other guy a few grades above me um, named Chris and he wanted just this really matrixy the camera pulls out of a TV but then he also wanted to pull out of a cell phone and I did that for him. I'm still working on it currently but it's kind of, kind of cool. And then on my own project I wanted to have a shot of of a girl throwing a light bulb at the wall and it shattering. And technically, that would break a lot of safety codes and stuff, shattering glass on set. So I decided to fake it with the magic of computers. But yeah, just been doing so much work and getting a lot better at a lot of things. I'm still not good at pretty much anything, but I feel that I'm making progress. So that's kind of cool. And it's a lot of fun. And I'm happy that I made this decision to to make movies and go to school for it and be around people that want to make movies and it's it's a lot of fun. Anyway, grandchildren, that's it for now. Um, 
I'll talk to you guys sometime soon. If you see me anytime in the you present me future, um, we should make a movie. That'd be cool. I wonder if I'm actually successful in the future, because you'll know. You'll know if I was actually, like, a big director or if I was just this guy who liked to make movies. Anyway, we should make a, a movie together. We should make a short film of some sort or just a video of something, a little comedy sketch. What, it'll be fun to do that with you guys, and I can teach you stuff that I know. I am so tired. Uh, that's what we should do, grandchildren. Um, anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next entry. See you guys.